Hi, this is Kalyan from Science Solution and you are listening to my audio article series. The topic of this article is Why is an act of evil an illusion? Part 1. Disposition, Philosophy, Foundation, Nature Cure. To explore my articles, you can visit the notes section of my Facebook page fb.com slash or click scisolution.co.in for direct access. Acts of evil can be categorized into two types. One is out of revenge. Other could be out of limited knowledge or irrational exploration of the truth. The revenge category. If the evil is exercised out of revenge, then one needs to understand the necessity of revenge in leading a healthy and happy life. To lead a healthy and happy life, revenge is a toll on our vitality. It consumes a lot of precious energy. It can be understood clearly that the idea of revenge depletes the individual from within and it is an innervating act to execute. Hence, it is illusionary to consider that the decided act of evil will not harm the person who is executing it. It harms the person who executes it more than anybody else. The Knowledge Category now, if the act of evil is exercised due to the lack of knowledge of the truth, then it is obviously a misinterpretation of the intention of the individual as evil. The individual does not execute the act as evil but as needful. The idea of blaming the individual for his evil intention is illusionary because evil does not exist there. It could be a limited knowledge, but cannot be an intentional will to harm. When we opt to term this phenomena as evil, we invite a lot of ego class in the first place. The person who is exercising the question act will involve in justifying his action as the right act. On the other hand, the individual who is proposing the action as an evil action often strives hard to prove the person as a bad person. In both, the actual truth is eventually ignored. It is always wiser to propose what to do than to discuss what not to do. What not to do is an endless list with a high quantum of thoughts to carry. What to do is a concise list to understand if opted dialectically. For example, if you are proposing mango as the needful food in summer, then it is a precise proposal of what to eat. Now, if you wish to propose what not to eat, the list goes endless. It is a sheer stupidity to opt the route of restrictions when we can focus on the permissions and the possibilities. Another example, when we are studying nature cure, in analyzing acts of evil, let's take the crucial example of the medical practice. We often end up criticizing and penalizing the medical fraternities as if they are conspiring against mankind. It is an illusion. Even if the individual is doing it for money, but not establishing health knowingly, it is a limited understanding of money by the individual. The intention of the individual is not grown matured enough to understand the value of life. The value of life is falsely con considered as it lies in money and he is acting under the illusion of life. As a perceiver, if you interpret this limited knowledge and exploration of money as an impaired intention to harm other self, you also suffer from an illusion yourself. Blaming the person will also showcase the lack of responsibility towards your own health and happiness dialectically. If the person is not doing it for money, then it is due to deep-rooted conditioning and the lack of opportunity to learn about natural hygiene and nature cure. Blaming the person as evil 
is another illusionary disposition, but actually swears us from the reality of the limited opportunity and knowledge of the person being blamed. The empathy in these states is the right option to choose, not blaming or cursing the medical practitioner. Terming him an evil, we end up with ego conflicts and justifying something else other than the truth. It is wiser to extend our dialectic understanding of health instead of analyzing the imaginary stories of conspiracies. Remember, the words are thought creators for you. Opting an illusionary word will steer innervating thought within you more than anybody else. Let's stop concluding anything as evil. Evil is unnatural and illusionary for the doers and the interpreters both. Thank you. Disclaimer. This copyrighted article is written under the light of true nature cure practice and does not align with medicinal practices. It is an educational endeavor to explain that the real cure is achieved from within. The individual should consult a competent health practitioner to clarify the doubts regarding health.